All right, guys, so this is Forescan. See, Forescan.org. That's the website for it. Obviously, you have to download the software right here where it says download. And then choose what you want to download it to. I've already downloaded it, so it's already on my desktop right there. Um, you do have to get uh, con some port connection. Uh, I use this ELM 325 I found online. Uh, this is a very cheap device, um, but it works. And this one even has a switch for medium and high. And it just plugs in right there. Come on, focus. To 16 pins. Okay, uh, there's Wi-Fi ones, there's Bluetooth ones, but I opted one for one that's an actual USB plug, so I know it's actually plugged in and not losing connection or can't find connection and stuff. Okay. All right, guys, so it's plugged in here. I'm gonna turn the truck on, just on power without turning the truck actually fully on. We're gonna open for scan. Okay, down here on the bottom, where it says connect. Make sure it's on HS. And it should start reading down everything. It does it have a switch? Yes. Switch it over to medium. That's what that switch is for. Okay, looks like it's ready. So then you go into CPU here, configuration, and this is where all your modules are at. So if you have the spreadsheet, it gives you all the modules and where to go in order to change everything. And there's more also if you actually go further down. There's more, okay. So just be careful what you're changing on here. Um, be, it's always recommended to save the previous profile. And, but yeah, you can make a lot of changes. I mean, read through the 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 actual module through Forescan. Read if you have any questions, ask the guys, and they're really good at answering back through the actual uh, forum. All right, good luck. Thanks.